they would go to someone at times purporting to be religious and what would they do they would say malam i have a problem i need you to do something for me so that i have this money or this position or this woman or this man or my relation with that person is like this or like that believing that this person has some superstitious power that will bring about the desired effect and impact whereas that power belongs to allah and in the case of allah it is not superstition it is just his power never turn to other people to solve your problems by visiting those who claim to know the unseen or who can help you with the unseen because ultimately it will result in your destruction and theirs and it will cause tremendous pain to you and your family and those you are trying to affect and impact man ata arrafan aw kahinan fa saddaqahu bima akhbar faqad kafara bima unzila ala muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Whoever visits a fortune teller or a soothsayer, one of these people who claim to know the unseen, to help you regarding the unseen, if you just visit them, the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad says, if you believe what they have to say, you have disbelieved in what I have brought. Is it worth it? Is it worth losing your iman by visiting people just because you are fed up of something happening in your life? Bear sabr, turn to the Qur'an, Ayatul Kursi, the three surahs at the end of the Qur'an, Al-Ikhlas and Al-Mu'awwidatan. Qul a'udhu bi rabbin falak, qul a'udhu bi rabbin nas. Do you not have conviction in the word of Allah? How much time of the day do you spend reading the Quran? And then you want to visit a witch doctor, you want to visit a soothsayer, you want to visit a magician, you want to visit a person who might cast a spell. Wallahi, my brothers and sisters, by visiting, by believing, the Prophet Muhammad says, Faqad kafara bima unzila ala Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Such a person by merely believing that someone besides Allah can bring me good fortune has disbelieved in the message brought by Muhammad engage in Tawbah, seek the forgiveness of Allah. If you have done this and it is rampant in societies across the globe, among people who call themselves Muslims, 